Welcome to my channel. This is Marjena Fitness anytime and anywhere by Marjena. I have a great spot for today's workout. It's all about abs, but not just strengthening those abs. We will be burning body fat and belly fat. Yes, we need to do something more intensive to actually get to the fat burning zone. So I will be incorporating weighted gloves. This is absolutely optional. You can use two small, medium, dumbbells or you can also replace them with two water bottles other than this you need 25 minutes of your time and exercise math let's get going Please subscribe if you are new here and if you enjoy my workouts. The most effective abs exercise for flat belly. Let's begin with warm up. Breath into the nose, reach up high and exhale, arms down. Do it again. Breath in and exhale. Perfect. Now we're gonna do step out a couple times because during warm up, I really want you to warm up those abs, especially obliques, since this is what's gonna begin our routine today. So let's reach side to side, up about to shoulder level first, and then a little bit higher over the head. Reach up. Keep going. Breathe. Now this is a multi-level workout, so anybody can do it. It's just when you are new, I want you to do less reps and maybe do it a little bit slower, uh, put a couple more breaks in between. If you're more advanced, just go for it, do your best. And again, mix up those two moves side to side and up, then march. Breath in, reach, and now as you exhale, knee up. Yes, we're gonna go with high knees. This is a great exercise and that's gonna warm up our rectus abdominals. Now, please watch me real quick. I want you to make sure that you are not leaning forward like this, okay? We're gonna keep back straight, shoulders back and down, and then move those knees up and forward. Each time you move your knee up, go ahead, exhale. If you can hear yourself exhaling, that's even better. That means you are also working those deep layered abs. Hello, beautiful abs. Keep going, few more times. And anytime you need a quick break, just march for a moment and then do more. Good, now very similar exercise, but different position. No, not this one, it's gonna be plank and mountain climbers. So we're gonna curl those knees forward and now please make sure you are not dragging your toe on the mat. You wanna lift up your knees and your toes. They are right above the mat. Keep on going. Make sure those elbows are slightly bent, your palms under shoulders and neck is extension of the spine. Feel free to do everything in one round or stand up, march for a little bit and then do more. In this workout, it's a lot of repetitions of the same movement. But again, it doesn't mean you have to do everything all together. Couple more times. You can choose to do 10, stand up for a little bit, and then do more. Very good. Now we are done with this one, and now we're gonna do knees to the side. Let's do about 20 on each side, and then we're gonna switch. Now here, 
the goal is to target ab leaks and lower part of abs. If you are using water bottles or dumbbells, you're gonna get more, way more out of every single movement. And yes, this workout is mostly about core and abs, but if you are using dumbbells, you are also working your arms and you will feel it next day, I promise. Keep going, try maintain great tempo. You already know it's okay to march for a little bit. And almost there, march that out. Yes, these are obliques. So now in a plank position, we do knees to the side. And now here I wanna give you options. You can do single knee, side to side, or you can choose to do doubles, which we're gonna try in a moment, right here. Double knee to the right, double knee to the left. And you can mix those however you want to. As before, you don't wanna drag your toe on the mat. You wanna lift up this knee, up towards your elbow. It's the same position that we had before, so neck is still extension of our spine, elbow slightly bent, abdominals engaged, we have to exhale out with a fort. So if you catch yourself with your lips closed, you know you are not breathing right. I want you to open your lips and exhale out through it. We have a couple more to do and if that means you need to take a quick break to do this, please go. Good, quick stretch, and we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Let's stand up again. It's pretty intensive, right? And this is how we are burning body fat when we do abs. Let me peek real quick what's next. Okay, I know. Let's use dumbbell or water bottle. And now we're gonna really focus on those obliques. Notice that now we curl knees sideways but also we don't let our knee to go across our body right it's moving side to side only as before we're gonna do 20 very dynamic reps and each time you really want to focus on great range of motion so you need to push the bottle over the head right there it's always traveling next to your ear, right? That water bottle. So it goes down next to your ear and then up next to your ear. Switch side and give me 20 more. Keep a good tempo. At this point, you should feel that you are pretty sweaty. That's the tempo we want. Every time you move your leg off the floor, you wanna exhale. Keep going. It's very hard to maintain the same tempo throughout the whole set, but just do best you can. Couple more, fast arms, fast leg, and march. Well, of course, I have another exercise on the mat for you now, and now we're gonna do crunches to the side. And we're gonna do a couple different options. First, let's do both legs. Notice that we are not pushing those legs forward at no point. We go up and down only. You wanna press on your palm and move your upper body, your rib cage off the mat. I have a very beautiful spot today. Now let me show you this option. You can do one leg up and then both legs, okay? Just another variation. And guys, I really encourage you, you find your perfect spots for your workouts. I promise you that you're gonna enjoy them way better than doing workouts at home. Yes, workouts at home are great, but if you find a beautiful place somewhere outside, it's gonna be a real adventure. Another option for crunches. Now it's the other leg moving up and down, and this one is hard. And this one also works inner thighs. So are we loving it or what? Yes, we are. And of course, we're gonna switch side. 
Now, this is how you would be using water bottle if you want to, but again, that's more advanced option. I am using my weighted gloves, so doing both at the same time uh, is a little bit too much. So we're gonna firstly alternate legs. One leg and then both. Remember, on your exca, you are moving off the mat. You may think breathing doesn't, uh, is not that important, but it is. It does target deep layered up so much better if we are breathing right. This is the option where the other leg is moving up and down. Try maintain your other leg at the same level, about 45 degrees over the mat. Exhale. Keep on going. And now we're gonna finish with more reps, both legs up and down. Remember, on your exhale, you move off the mat. Quick reminder, once you notice that your form doesn't seem to be good anymore, please stop, take a quick break and then finish it. Moving on guys, we need water bottle again, maybe even two. And now we're gonna be in a standing position, bending legs forward. Now, yeah, yeah, no, we're not gonna round up our back. Again, I'm gonna keep using water bottles. I already have my gloves. Please notice we need to keep our upper body straight up. So you wanna see that your leg is moving towards your fingertips, not the other way around. If this means you won't touch your toes, don't worry about it. Just go with a slower control tempo. You don't wanna swing your leg. This is another option where we can do V-lifts and open up our toes slightly off to the side and then add upper body rotation, just like that. But it's the same rule. You don't wanna bench your knee to get higher or you don't wanna round up your back to touch your toes. It only makes sense if, if it's your leg doing most of the job, okay? On your way up, really feel how you are engaging those abs. On your way down, you are working against gravity, so you actually want to slow down a tiny bit on purpose. Do it and see how that feels. Now, in a plank position, we kind of want to do the opposite thing. So now we're going to extend legs back. And it's, again, us against gravity, so you want to slow it down a tiny bit, okay? Do not bend your knees here. You wanna keep your legs straight. If holding plank on your palms is too much, you can do the same in elbow plank position. Not a problem. I will also show you another variation for this one in case it's too much. This one is advanced, right? Adding a little bit of the side rotation. And then, of course, you can bring your knees to the mat to help yourself if holding full plank with leg extensions is too much, just like that, okay? But once your body gets stronger, I want you to return to the actual position because this one is so much better for core and upper body. Control this tempo. At any point you feel you're not doing good, you take a break first, and then you're gonna do more. Okay, and that's elbows down position, forearms on a mat, and you can even switch those two, right? Have a little fun. So two lifts here, then come down to elbow plank, and two leg extensions right here. Yep, let's be creative today. And then we're gonna stand up again, water bottles up. Now this move is called Afro, and it's a, one of the best exercise, one of the best moves for abs, I promise. This is easier option where we keep our feet open, and this one where we tap our toes side to side is a little bit more advanced. Notice that I'm moving my elbow, I'm dragging my elbow up to my ear and above my ear. Okay, almost like you try to draw a rainbow over your head or something like that. 
You want those weights or bottles to be as far away from you, slightly in front of you at all times. Your abs must be engaged and you have to breathe. So it's not gonna be very fast move because those weights will slow you down. And I'm not gonna even tell you which muscle group is working because if you are doing it with me, you feel exactly. Okay, I'll tell you. Obliques, and guys, oblique abs are attached to our lower back. That's exactly where you feel it now, okay? Well done. Now, different variation of similar movement. This time it's gonna be boat pose and we're gonna move our arms side to side with rotation moves, just like that. This is more advanced option if both arms do same thing. So in case it's too much, you just put one bottle, one dumbbell away, or you can go one arm at a time, like cross, okay? What's very important here is that you need to keep your back straight and you want your shoulders to be in a little bit, your back, a little reclined back, okay? The stronger your abs, the farther back you'll be able to recline. But you don't wanna be just sitting down, it's a boat pose. And we also wanna work on very good range of motion. So yes, we focus on going side to side, especially with cross, but then you can go slightly higher and over the head, and you're really gonna feel those obliques again. It's also a great stabilization exercise. No, don't round up your back. If that happens, I want you to take a break and then return to work. Keep going. Keep on going. And we're gonna move on to another great exercise. Now it's plank position. And now we have elbow plank. We do the same leg extensions. Let's work slowly. Let's control the tempo. Let's beat that gravity for once. This is easier option, knees on a mat. And the actual option. Make sure you are not moving your hips higher than your head. Slightly above your shoulders is fine, but not too much. Easy and slow tempo. Notice how those two exercises are different. Here, again, we're gonna do scissors and we want good tempo and great range of motion. And then the next exercise, we actually go slower. So, we are on our back again, scissors, one leg at a time. Let's keep core engaged, let's breathe through it. Knees are slightly bent. This is second position, you can extend your arms forward and I will show you more options. Right there, this one is really hard and really good. And you know me, I will show you something even harder in a moment, okay? But let's wait for that. So choose your version, okay? You can be supported on your forearms or choose level one, two, and three. Okay, here we go. Here I have the band. And you can incorporate band into this workout to make it even more challenging for your legs, okay? This one is not my favorite band but I will link in the description the one that I really recommend you guys uh, buy, for your, buy for yourself because this one is sliding down, you see it? Okay, and then you have to fix it all the time, like that. The other one is made from different material and it kind of sticks to your legs so much better. They come in at least three different levels, so you can you get them all three, and then when you build up strength, you use better bend. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna come back to plank. Two extensions in a full plank position. Hold on, two more in elbow down plank. And we go like that. Great exercise because we keep moving, we keep burning so many calories, and we give those wrists break every now and then, right? We don't hold that plank for too long. 
But if your elbow plank is your favorite one, then just keep the, the other one, okay? Remember, this is a slow tempo, okay? We did something fast and now you go slow. The slower, the better. Let's stand up again. That's our next position. And we are twisting to the opposite knee with dumbbells or water bottles. Don't do this, okay? I want you to move that knee out to the side, not across. This is our last exercise in a standing position. Now, I want you to choose different uh, tempos. So you're gonna go slow and maybe move around the room and then go a little bit faster when you get to the spot and then just, just switch tempos, okay? Confuse your body. Our body really loves when we do something different all the time because this is how we really burn more calories. Keep going. Notice how those elbows are moving away from each other at all time, okay? Our knees are pushed out to the side. Just twist. Twist and shout. And this exercise may look so fun, and it's kind of fun, but it's very challenging as well. And I know you feel it. So let's move on now to another type of twist, which is actually crisscross, okay? Legs up, that was level one, and now level two. With weighted gloves, it's even harder. With water bottles, I wouldn't do that with water bottles, so if you don't have weighted gloves, just skip it. But I will show you in a moment how you can do it with bands. We want very good range of motion, so possibly you wanna push your foot forward and your leg will be to full extension. If you have a band, then you may not be able to fully straight up your leg, but that's okay because then you're still gonna feel your abs, um, they will be still engaged and you will be engaging the back of your legs and your quads even better, okay? So with the bands, don't worry if the range of motion decreases. Keep going. Let's move those shoulder blades over the mat. Touch that knee. Yes, do your best. Take some breaks if necessary, but we only want beautiful repetitions. Inhale on one side, exhale on the other side. Breath in, breath out. And couple more, of course. Please notice we are not crossing arms on our head. We keep fingertips on our ears. It's a really sunny weather today, but it's okay. We just burn more calories this way. Let's grab those water bottles. We are on our back, and now we're gonna mix two different moves. Firstly, knees up, shoulder blades up, with weights, and then legs straight. Lift up again. Okay, so two different moves. If you are a beginner, you may wanna skip that second move, so you're only gonna curl your knees in and out, and maybe even do it with one leg at a time. If you suffer from lower back also, um, be very careful with those straight leg lifts. Always check with your doctor if any of those workouts are even right for you. But if they are right for you, still be careful sometimes. Listen to your body. We really fully exhale with movement. So here, exhale and then inhale as you come back down. It's another slower exercise. So especially when you return from the crunch, you are back against gravity, slow it down. Do not just drop your legs, okay? You wanna control that tempo. You are proving yourself you are stronger than the gravity. We probably not, but we still try. It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the day. And if you notice that your lower back gets overarched, definitely skip water bottles and modify this one, okay? 
go with bent knees only, knees to chest, and even one leg at a time. Keep on going. We want to do a lot of reps. You know what also helps? If you smile every time you crunch. Yeah, give it a try right now. Smile. And then smile and fully exhale. That's even better. Think about how heavy our legs are. And now we are using those small apps to do the whole job. It's, it's pretty amazing what our muscles can do, right? Did you know that our head is about 11, 12 pounds? So think how heavy our legs gotta be. Pretty heavy. Which only proves what a great workout we are getting right now. Just using our own body weight. Pretty amazing. Keep breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I think we have enough or not. No, we don't. We want to finish with a little bit of the palacing motion. So now just shoulder blades over the mat. Keep your feet on the mat. I want you to do as many as you can to feel the burn in your stomach. Okay? 10, 20, 30. And then we are sure to feel it next day okay now this is the last exercise that's gonna complete this uh, workout we finally gonna focus on the opposite muscle group so back muscles glutes and we actually are blending two moves firstly you just move your legs or your arms one at a time and then together legs and arms both at the same time right here lift it up okay right there as before you want to feel you are in charge of the tempo so you go up slowly and then you come back slowly it's important to give your body a complete workout so if we were challenging our obliques our rectus abdominals uh, for such a long time we have to do something for posterior part of our body and that's exactly what we are doing right now don't forget about that and let's stretch it out and that feels so good knowing that we are almost done but we are not done yet because now I would like you I would like to invite you to stretch and I'm gonna link my whole playlist with all the stretching exercise choose your favorite one and enjoy it you're gonna feel so much better right after workout but definitely next day don't forget to drink a lot of water. Yes, we've lost lots of water during this workout. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye now.